Jake Carey has quickly ascended to become one of the top drivers in the CPCA. Last year, he won the Yorkton Show, finished second in the season standings, second in the championship dash, and raced in Calgary for the second time. The key to his success is easy to pinpoint. It's the attention he pays to his horses. Oh, they're, they're number one. They eat before us. They get looked after before us. They're, um, they're our pride and joy. They're like another child we have. The level of dedication BJ and his three-man crew show to the sport leave little doubt as to how much he believes in his barn as well as his desire to win. Typical day starts at 6.30, uh, feeding. Um, 7.30 we're usually in the barn and we're, we're um, getting ready to, to truck train and deciding what we're going to do, do for the day, um, whether we're truck training or what we're doing or if we're driving. And, um, exercise, clean barn, that usually takes till about 11. Uh, and the guys get to feed in the barn and clean the water pails out and refill them, bring the horses in at noon and, uh, and let them stay in the barn for an hour, hour and 15 minutes to eat their noon oats. After that, there is still a regular working day left for BJ, Billy, Cam and Eddie. After lunch, we pick their stalls, make sure there's, there's no manure left in them and uh, re-bed them and start mixing their, their nighttime mash. And uh, that usually takes about two hours. I got 30 head in training right now. So um, <clears throat> it, take, it takes us till about 4.30, 5 o'clock, put hay in and um, <clears throat> then usually go and uh, pick rocks in the track or there's always something to do, fix something on the liner, or do something along those lines. Try putting the horses in around 7.30 and let them eat and we go and eat and then we come back and brush around nine. And usually not done till 10, 30, 11 o'clock. So it's a long day. Um, they put in lots of hours and um, if I didn't have them, I wouldn't be able to race. That's for sure. There's no two ways about it. Caring for his horses is more than just showing affection and making them comfortable. It's about training them to be the best at what they were born to do. Run. They're athletes, so um, they have to be ready to go just like any other athlete. They got to be muscled up and they got to have their wind. And uh, if, if you don't have that, well, then they aren't going to perform like an athlete. They aren't going to, they aren't going to be, they aren't going to be that superstar that you want them to be. So um, if you don't get to put the time into them, you aren't going to have nothing at the end of the day. As the season draws closer, the type of training and intensity of the workouts changes for the outfits. The new horses get more rides with the truck while BJ begins to look for winning combinations with his wagon. The truck is a simple way to simulate racing by hooking on a team of four horses to a specially designed rig on the back of a pickup truck. Most important is having getting them fit. The truck is, the truck is big. Um, uh, between Cam, Eddie and Billy, they've been having them on the truck every day and, and that's huge just so that they're, they're, they're muscled up and aired up for a week so we can go and battle for them. But not every horse is naturally willing or able to truck train. They'll most likely be broken in as outriding horses while BJ focuses on those that can run too wide, too deep. While the horses are learning, there's, I drove, uh, out of the four outfits I drove today, there was, um, I guess there was seven new horses, so um, they're learning. Some of them are learning quicker than others, and it's just going to take time. So hopefully, I can hopefully I can work them in slowly and run two outfits all year and be able to get them get them going. They're all training hard, so they should be ready to go for the May last last weekend of May. The lingering winter and unfortunate injuries has caused headaches for BJ this off season, but he says he's made the appropriate adjustments to compete come the CPCA kickoff. There's always, uh, there's always room, uh, uh, just have to work with it and deal with it, deal with what comes to you. So um, if you didn't, you wouldn't be able to do this sport because <laughs> if, if uh, the horses surprise you a lot. BJ will again be relying heavily on his third year horse, Chief, the grandson of 1977 Triple Crown winner, Seattle Slough. Chief helped BJ win two day monies and qualify for the championship dash in 2012. You'll be able to hear more about the descendant of Seattle Slough this year on the CPCA Radio Network's Shadow and Trucking CPCA Equine Outfit of Excellence Spotlight.